Hello, this is Shesha Chalam from Ashwagat Mysore. Today let us go through a case study. This case study is about a neurosurgeon, a male. And uh, I'm not giving you any birth details here because it's uh, already jumbled up. I have put up the North Indian chart for uh, people who want the North Indian chart. This is the D1, the Rashi Kundari. This is the D10, the Dashamsha Kundari. Particularly with regard to profession. And why did the person choose this profession? Why was it he? Did he comfortably choose it? Is he good for it? You know, when people <coughs> take up a profession because there might be a force from the family and or it might be a trend in the society, you know. Uh, everybody were, uh, you know, 30 years back, everyone wanted to study computer science. There was a huge rush. So now also people have the trend, they go into IT because that is the first preference because they feel that's a highly paid job and it's wanted, you know, that's in demand. So the same way, whether it was a demand which, you know, made him go into the subject or was he really capable for this particular subject of getting into neurosurgery. You know, this, I know this person personally, uh, is my uh, good friend and he does extraordinary surgeries. So, and he's a workaholic. And let us see whether these things, these patterns set with the norms of the chart. So, <clears throat> to, for a person to become a neurosurgeon, the first most important thing is there should be a strong mercury. Mercury. So, mercury is at 17 degrees 18 minutes and it is placed in the ascendant and is retrograde. Mind it? A retrograde mercury makes a person unemotionally strong when he is in his job if it is a yoga karaka so it is a yoga karaka here being the ninth lord sitting in the ascendant and such a beautiful position that the fifth lord is sitting in the ninth house along with ketu ketu is the one which deals with minute surgeries you know, there are different types of surgeries, laparoscopic surgery, laser surgeries, you know, non-invasive surgeries. There are many, many different types of non-invasive surgeries. Uh, <clears throat> this is what is represented by Ketu, you know, you know, cryogenic surgeries like, you know, uh, freezing a particular thing and then uh, cutting it off. All these things are there which comes under Ketu and Saturn and this particular placement in the ninth house which is for higher studies you know satisfied higher studies is also well placed and saturn is also retrograde there so there are three planets which are retro in the chart one is mars the other one is uh, mercury and the third one is saturn so you can see mars is placed in the seventh house at <coughs> 2 degrees and 14 minutes. Ascendant is at 14 degrees 25 minutes in Libra. So, if I add 15 degrees to it, so it is at 0 degrees and 25 minutes here. So, that doesn't make any change here. No, actually it is 29 degrees and 25 minutes here. So, it doesn't any make any change here. So, in the Bhava Kundari, I have not written the Bhava Kundari because there is not much change at all. So, Mars stays there only in the seventh house, giving rise to a strong yoga which is a ruchaka yoga so one he has ruchaka yoga secondly <clears throat> a person who has to be a neurosurgeon has to have a strong mind first he has to have a, a strong mercury you know, directly because it controls the nerves secondly acuteness for that he has to have a well placed Ketu, excellently placed Ketu. He has to have the stability, unemotional strength. So you should not fluctuate. That is Mercury retro and Saturn retro is a little difficulty here because he becomes impatient. You know when things doesn't go, um, if he doesn't have work he becomes impatient. That is because he is a workaholic. So you, you can see that workaholism here because the 10th Lord has moved to, moved to the 11th house. Extremely workaholic, the 11th Lord has gone to the 2nd house. You know, the 2nd Lord is retro. 
there is a huge uh, thing here where a person wants to continuously keep working. So, second thing what I told was that he should have a strong mind. So, the mind which is controlled by moon has to be well placed. It, has, it is not to be badly placed. So, moon though it is having a Kemudruma, that means he will um, mostly live uh, like a very uh, simple, independent, lonely life which is happening because you know he is now going through the Rahudasha. Once he finishes a particular stage in the Rahudasha, he will uh, come back with family. Then I will not go into that uh, level because there is no problem in the family life. It is only that he is uh, because of his work he stays away. So <coughs> moon is well posited, moon is strong, 10th lord in the 11th house. Se the second one is the mind. The third one what is required is the hands, the arms, the dexterity. You know, a person who is doing a minute, it's like an art. It's it's a it's science, but it's an art. You all neurosurgeons are not the same. So you if he has to excel, he has to come up to a level and say that yes, I can handle my job perfectly, do all the most intricate surgeries in a simple way and tell that oh, it was a normal thing to do. It was a day's job for me. So if that level of expertise has to come, the hands have to be very good, you know, very dexterous. So the arms are to be seen from the third house where you have an extremely strong position of Rahu and Surya, uh, sorry, Rahu and Shukra, that is Rahu and Venus. Rahu in the third house gives Bhala, that is Parakrama Bhala, very strong third house. It is a negative third house. The more the negative the third house is, the more the strong the person's arms and uh, you know the hands will be. So, uh, but it should not be that negative that it should be you know it should have a malefic. I'm sorry, it should not have negative placements. There should be malefic planets in the third house. If I have quoted it as negative, please change that. The third house has to have malefic planets and strongly positive. So here the Ragnadipati itself has gone to the third house. So he wants hands-on job. He wants to keep doing. So third from the third is also very important, which actually controls the third house. And this is Saturn, which is aspecting the third house. So the third house is very strongly positive. Beautiful aspect of Saturn, a retro Saturn, which is the Yoga Karaka for this particular chart, being the fourth and the fifth lord and it is aspecting the Lagnadipati giving rise to a strong Dhana Yoga and also a strong Yoga because this becomes a Raja Yoga. So <coughs> that is the third point. First point was the Mercury itself, second point was the mind, the third point was this particular placement of the third house. Now to go into the line of becoming a doctor first, the 6th and the 12th house has to be strong. If the 6th house and the 12th houses are weak, though however strong the 10th house is, it is very difficult for a person to become a doctor. So the 6th house, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The 6th house is the house of Pisces and unfortunately if we see it is not strong, it is debilitated. Jupiter is debilitated. Now we need to see whether this debilitation has got cancelled. From the chart, the debilitation also is not cancelled because it has gone six houses from the other dispositor and it is sitting with Ketu. So the debilitation has not got cancelled. So that means as per the sixth house, he was destined to do something else. He did not want to become a neurosurgeon at first, so there was some other plan. But when we go to the 12th house, the 12th Lord is beautifully posited in the Lagna. And being the 9th Lord and the 12th Lord, Mercury is the one which has taken over the chart fully. It has taken over the chart fully. If you see from the degrees, Mercury is at 17 degrees 18 minutes. The ascendant is at 14 degrees 25 minutes. You can see that this is a beautiful placement and even in the Dashamsha, you can see that 
Mercury is placed in the second house, the house of wealth. So, uh, let us not go into the details of uh, whether Mercury is debilitated there, but it is retrograde. Chesta Bala is very strong there. So, the twelfth house has made everything happen. So, he has gone through a lot of dashas. Before the Rahu Dasha, he will have gone through the Dasha of Mars, which was a retro. Then, before that, he has gone through Moon. And before that, he has gone through Sun. And then, before that, he has gone through Venus. So, so when we see Chandra is at 10 degrees 52 minutes, and we know that it is placed at 10 degrees 52 minutes here. So, it is just on the edge of the Makha Nakshatra of Simba Rashi because Simba Rashi Makha Nakshatra is from 0 degrees to 13 degrees and 20 minutes that is Makha which is ruled by Ketu. She is born in the Ketu Nakshatra and after that he has gone through you know it is in the edge it is at 10 degrees so maybe there was only one year left of the Ketu approximately let us calculate so one year 20 here and uh, 6 here, 10 here and 7 there. So, 26, 27, 37 and 44. So, 44 years he entered into Rahu when he was 44. Uh, just like that, this is a 1973 chart. So, that means he is now very near to 40. This is in India. So, <clears throat> so 49 year old person. So, that means 5 years already into the Rahu Dasha. So, let us say Rahu, Rahu is done with and now he is into Rahu Jupiter or on the edge of it. So, he will enter into Rahu Saturn very soon. So, this is the Pattern of the Dasha, just I gave it for uh, people who want to do their calculations as per the Dasha. So, Shukra, young age, 21 years is Shukra. Shukra is placed in the third house, which gives the dexterity to the hand. And this is the Dasha which has been very decisive for him to go into, uh, you know, doctor, becoming a doctor. Because it also represents the eighth house. Shukra, though it is the Lakdhadipati, it also represents the 8th house sitting in the 3rd house. Wealth, yes, 8th lord, strongly posited, very good wealth, excellent wealth. So, a neurosurgeon has to have all these beautiful characteristics of a strong mercury. Mars, yes, for surgeries, you know, directly, you know, many people, they can't even see the red color itself, forget about the blood. So, people seeing blood, they will simply fall down. So, this person is very strong, like a bull. So, he sits there hours together, you know, 13 hours, 14 hours, sometimes for the, the whole night to finish one intricate surgery. So, it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. So, and these people show patience. Though there is a retro Saturn, which is an impatient Saturn, these people show a lot of patience when they are doing their job. Not when they are not doing anything. They will have a lot of impatience. So they have to be continuously in activity. They have to be in activity, not in activity. They have to be in, in activity. Very lot of activity. They require activity because yeah, an idle mind is a very dangerous thing for these people. With the retro, uh, you know, the intelligence is retrograde and uh, Lot of patience when Mars becomes retro, lot of impatience when Saturn becomes retro. So, both these combinations are very contradicting uh, combinations, but still, <coughs> this particular thing is for the family. He shows a lot of patience towards the family life, and this particular thing is towards his job. You know, that then he shows a lot of impatience that he wants more job, he wants to do, uh, go to higher levels, wants to excel. So, all these things are there. So, finally, to do intricate operations and surgery, you need a strong Ketu, you need a strong Mercury, 
for being a neurosurgeon and you need a strong third and the sixth one. So one, two, three, four, five, sorry, not, this is not the sixth one, this is the sixth one. So all these twelve. The funny thing is, people who do hard work, this is a very important point, people who do hard work and those people who are actually running this world, these people have a strong third, sixth, eighth and twelfth house. Please check the charts, you will understand these are the people who are actually moving this earth, moving this world to better progress. These people can't keep quiet, they keep working and working. So though this is called as a trikstana, the beauty of these houses are that these people get motivated for doing their job. So thank you very much for today's class. I hope I have covered a, quite a bit about this chart and just a case study. So I keep coming up with case studies. Thank you. God bless.